Okay, so picking up from where we left off and managing our vendors, we're gonna go ahead and add in some catalog items for these vendors now. I've gone ahead and added another vendor to the list so we can see a little bit of variation later on when we're creating our purchase orders. So to begin with, I'll click on the hyperlink for catalog items. If you just create a vendor, they won't have any catalog items, so obviously you need to go ahead and click create new catalog items. And these will be queuing off of listings that you already have but you can also add in new vendor catalog items and I'll cover that in just a minute. So if I'm searching through my listings, I'll see that, good, I have SKU1. This is what I'm calling it when I'm selling it. The manufacturer's part number could be anything, but for simplicity's sake, we'll say it's a red hat and the price of it is $4.50. I can go ahead and add that item in and now if I was to go back here, I would see that that vendor, Bob's Things, now has one catalog item belonging to it. To show a little bit more variation, I'll go back in here. You could obviously add in your UPC and your ASIN here if you want, but the focus right now is SKU price and MPN. Let's say they come back to me a week later and say that, hey, our price is now only 350 for this hat. I can go ahead and update that and now the price is showing as 350. If we get a little variation, I'll go ahead and create a catalog item for the other vendor now. So I'll go ahead and start typing something in. Great, I have SKU 2.5. Let's say they call that green socks, right? And they sell them for $2 flat. Good, I can add that in. But I also want to show you here that instead of just queuing off of listings, if the vendor has something in their catalog you do not yet have as a listing, you can also go ahead and add that in right here. So let's say I want to call this SKU 3. I add in SKU 3, and what it, they are calling it is a pair of boots, and they sell them for $20 flat. Great, I can add in both these items. And again, if I go back to manage vendors, I can see that Joe's Things now has two catalog items that belong to it, and Bob's Things has one catalog item that belongs to it. 